Very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to talk about the for loop in uh, Flash and Xscript 3. Now let's see the the situation or the scenario in which you would be using the for loop. Guys the loops are used in situations or scenarios where you would want to do a repetitive job over and over again but if you were to do in the normal flow it would uh, be very laborious, would take up a lot of space and uh, wouldn't be the ideal solution. So uh, guys the example that's about to follow will show you the the way you should be using the for loop correctly. Okay. Let me uh, first get in a picture guys. I'm going to say file import and go to stage and uh, let me look for my picture. Right. Now this picture I'm going to use as a tile and I'm going to spread the tile from the left of the edge of the page to the right edge of the page and that's the first thing and then I'm going to fill it up completely I'm going to fill the stage up completely using this uh, picture it's a picture the width of which is 50 the height of which is 50 as well it's a bitmap image guys I'm going to convert it to a symbol first so right click convert a symbol then I'm going to say ok now it's there in the library now guys and before I act can actually call it through the action script guys I need to complete something called an AS linkage or action script 3 linkage and the way to do it is right click on the symbol go to properties and uh, then check this box which says export for action script and I'm gonna give it a class name I'm gonna call it tile and then I'm gonna say ok ignore the warning say ok once again guys now the AS linkage is complete guys I don't need the symbol anymore on the stage right so guys the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill the tile from left to the right edge of the page and the width of the page or the stage as we call it in flash is 550 pixels guys it's always 550 by 400 and uh, which means that if I need to flush the tiles from left to the right I need 11 such tiles right so guys I'm gonna rename this layer layer 1 as AS3 okay and start coding I'll right click on frame number 1 go inside actions and coding time guys okay the first thing that I would want to do is create two variables X pause and right pause and we'll soon see why they were created so variable X pause for exposition and I'll make it equal to uh, 0 okay another variable y pause and make it equal to 0 as well the type is number guys but uh, it's not compulsory to mention the type always cool uh, guys if I need to pull out one instance of this symbol or this tile onto the stage uh, let's see what how I can do it the action script way okay and the way to do it in action script is you need to create a variable so variable my tile and then make it equal to new tile which was the name of the class that I just created tile alright and then I need to use the add child method to add it to the stage so I need to say add child then my tile and my tile is a variable that is actually holding the tile guys so if I test the movie now you can see that one tile or the picture of one of the tiles has been tucked in the left top corner cool okay so guys if I need to have 11 such tiles from left to the right I would need to make some modification to the formula I would need to use the for loop because it's a repetitive job guys let's see how I can actually create the for loop so I'm gonna say uh, for the reserved word for variable i i is the iterator here uh, make it equal to 1 okay and a semicolon and I would want the loop to run as long as i is less than 12 because I would need 11 such tiles so as long as i is less than 12 so I would want 11 tiles guys okay and then every time the loop is run I would want the i to increment by 1 so i plus plus this is the way you would increment the iterator which is i cool and then we need to have a curly brace here and yet another curly brace out here right so that is the way 
you actually create the for loop this is the structure the correct structure of creating the for loop right if I test the movie now guys what has happened is I have 11 such tiles placed on top of each other but that's no good I wanted it to fill the entire width of the stage let's see how we can actually do that then I'm gonna say my tile dot x and uh, make it equal to x pause now x pause is zeros right now okay if I test uh, nothing at all would happen they are still on top of each other but if I say X pause plus is equal to 50 it means every time the loop is run please add 50 pixels to the exposition that would make a major difference let me test right so guys as you can see that uh, 11 such tiles have been placed adjacent to each other hence filling up the entire width of the stage cool now what if I wanted to uh, fill the entire height of the stage as well let's see how we can actually do that alright so I need to say uh, Y pause or the Y position and uh, rather I need to say my tile dot Y and uh, make it equal to Y position and Y position right now is 0 which was declared in line number 9. If I test the um, project now, no difference has been made. That's because the y is 0. Right. But if I say something like if, let me create the structure first. If x pause is equal to is equal to 550. Now this would happen once the loop has run 11 times. The 11th tile has been placed then I would want to reset the exposition back to zero. So x pause is equal to uh, zero. That's first thing that I would want to happen. And then I would want to shift the tiles 50 pixels down. And so y pause, that's y pause, and uh, plus is equal to 50. So I would want that once the tiles flush from left to right width-wise, height-wise, they should drop down by 50 pixels. Let me test. Okay, now I'll tell you where I went wrong. I needed 88 tiles, so I need to change the formula to 89. As long as I is less than 89, let me do a control enter. And guys, um, great. So the whole stage is filled up width-wise and height-wise by 88 tiles which have been placed adjacent to each other and uh, above and below each other. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. This tutorial teaches you how you can uh, perform a repetitive task using the for, to, uh, the for loop. Uh, I hope you will learn something from this tutorial, guys. Enjoy it yourself as well. I'll see you very soon with yet another Flash and Action Script 3 tutorial. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.